Act 3, Part 17. Get ready to run. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Wait till Stop. we get to Part 69. Stop time stamping it. Are you not gonna record my other playthroughs? It'll probably be that long. No, like... When I go on the other routes. That's fucking gay. Anyway, that's because I'll probably be skipping most of the dialogue. Uh, and sometimes. Oh, some come on! I love being alternate personality C. I mean, you can skip the first act, but that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll skip the first act. That's it. The summertime sun is something to be savored. <laughs> That's alliteration. <laughs> but when combined with the clean country... That's also alliteration. It's all the better. The track and field club members are horsing around in the field ahead. Some are playing this with the soccer ball. Which gives me Vietnam flashbacks when I played soccer. But Others are talking and a few laugh as two of them mock fight with each other. None of them pay me any heed as I sit alone on the grass, underneath the shade of a particularly large tree. It's nice and a peaceful moment here after the dreary day of school work. I played soccer pretty often for me. Yeah, that's it. I... Why is shed? Wait, what's that sound? What's Ultimate that sound? Ultimate personality we like to be reminded Oh, shut, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. What's that sound? It's what like playing with dogs in a shed. What? Sorry, I had... So I had thought it would be real nostalgic to watch them, but what I'm feeling now, though, is quite distinct with that emotion. Who the fuck? I hear footsteps yeah. approaching. Best character in the game. I hear. I want to date her now. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck Hanako. I want to date her. She's hot. <laughs> only one arm? That's fine. You don't need. You don't need both. She only has one arm. She only, well, she has, only one has one hand. hand. Yeah, I was gonna say she only has one hand. What are you going to use the rest of the arm for? I don't know. Back, hand, back arm someone? I hear footsteps approaching me behind me, and as I turn to see one of my classmates taking a seat behind me, I'm taken off guard as the two of us haven't talked much before, and I didn't think anyone would notice me here. What's up? Hi. Miura, was it? Wasn't it? Just call me Miki. Certain names are too stuffy. Likewise, then. We both look back at the field where the guys are playing. It looks like they're getting ready to have a second game, with people spreading out to their positions and the ball being carried to the center of the field. Sure enough, the whistle... Okay, from now on, my character's name is Miki. Sure enough, the whistle is blown to begin the match, and they get right back to it. Not going to play, says Miki. Nah, just gonna rest for a bit, says Miki. What about you? You kind of looked like you wanted to play when you were watching us before. So someone did notice me after all. It's kind of a long story. The face is that I've piqued her interest. I'm in Yamaku because I've got a heart condition. I can't really play soccer anymore. Wanted to be a soccer player, did you? No, I only really did it for fun. My friends played it, so I played it as well. Any of the guys playing around could have been me before my accident. But... I don't feel like I have any real wish to go back to that either. It's a little hard to explain. But I'm still decently physically built from the days when I played, even my, if my strength's largely left me now, and I got on well with the other club members. I... Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to say. Yes, well, well. I should... Dude, I am like jacked on the roids right now. I feel... Don't do that, you'll shrink your magnum dog. Yeah, you can't shrink with that that which is magnum. Like magnum yes, chocolate. Is, is, is magnum a brand of chocolate or ice cream? It's I think ice cream. it's ice cream? Yeah. Uh, actually it is. It is it is an ice cream as well. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. It it is. It it's, comes uh, in vanilla. 
Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna go buy some Magnum ice cream and just kill it. It's He's chocolate and cheese. vanilla! For niggers and white boys. <laughs> oh my. Me it's too. always racist. The ice cream? The ice cream? Hey, hey, hey! Fuck it, I'll shut. Fuck it, I'll shut. Is that hey. oxen? Sounds like oxen. I should feel pretty bad watching people play when I can't anymore. Yet I don't. Men, maybe it's a good thing. A sign that Is I've this gotten gonna be a soft landing or a hard landing? Yes. When I'm <laughs> then I'm ready to become a new person. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling. It's cool. I'm actually glad to hear that. It sounds like you really have your stuff together. Some of the people that come to Yamaku are pretty messed up at first. So you're a member of the Track and Field Club, club then? Yep, been in it since I first arrived. Don't suppose you're friends with Emmy? Short, fast runner, no legs. Don't think there are many other female track and field members. Ha, <laughs> Emmy. Everyone knows about her, don't they? But nah, I tend to get on better with guys, so me and Emmy don't really talk much. Anyway, what about you? You see, I have a penis, that's why. She's a lesbian. Ah, well, I'm not really in any clubs. Real hey, clubs. hey, hey. There ain't nothing wrong with the little bump and grind. <laughs> you've, been, you've been hanging around with Hanako and that blonde Amazon, though, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Again. Yeah, I've been hanging out with fucking Wonder Woman. <laughs> 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 blonde, blonde Amazon. I suppose Zully has the height to fit the description. If nothing, how tall is Sonic? Search this up. How tall is Zully? Damn, uh, that's tall. That's so a... divide that by two point six, and you'll get inches. Who needs inches? That sucks. I, I, I've let yeah, the no, audience no. know how to get from centimeters to inches. Wait, wait, Jesus 100, Christ. 171, you said? Inches. Oh, 171 yeah. inches. Yeah, 100, 179, okay. Oh, so, okay. She's, not even, she's not that tall. Well, no, I guess she is. She's 5'8. Yeah. I mean, sure. yeah, that's it. She's tall for Japan standards. Yeah, but are these people even Japanese? She's she's like Polish, isn't she? Or something. <laughs> Polish? Oh no. She's blonde and she has. Hey, 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 see Doug the blonde. Lily route yet? Um, no, he's this just in this. Okay. This is my first. This is my first playthrough. We've been playing since fucking October. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh right, yeah. You get the good ending right. first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Here's my. Uh, blonde Amazon. <laughs> I suppose Lily has the height to fit that description, if nothing else. And not in response without making too fine a point of things. And don't worry about it. As long as you got some friends, you don't need to join a club. A loud whistling from the field attracts our attention. One of the players is on this ground clutching his leg, and the other stop to play to jog. <sighs> so the stop play to jog up to him, leaving Miki grimacing. Ash, that was painful. That guy has really bad luck. As she looks, as she continues to look at the field, I can't help but being reminded of her own injuries. Her left arm, ending in a stump rather than a hand, has been bandaged up for the entire time I've been in Yamaku, and her injury doesn't seem that new. She turns to talk to me again and catches me looking. Both of us sit in awkward silence as she takes her bandaged arm and holds it in her lap with her with the other remaining hand. Sorry, I guess I'm still a bit in the... It's fine, really. Her tone is light, but neither of us say anything afterwards. Every disabled student here has their own way of dealing with their problems, and some finding their condition is troublesome is only natural. I'm included among them, after all. The injured guy in the soccer field managed to get onto his feet with some help, and ends up piling up the field with one arm under over the shoulder of another for support. Probably just pull the muscle if he can still manage to walk. The whistle blows again, and the game continues once more with one less man on the field. 
Hanging out with Hanako and that blonde girl. He keeps some pretty strange company. How so? It's just that Hanako's kind of... Ah, shy? No, it's not really that. It's, it's just... She's got some issues, I think. I can't really put it in a nice way. She's fucking messed. <laughs> <laughs> not that I don't think she's a nice person, though. She's perfectly nice. Just hard to deal with. Sounds like Miki or at least some other people in the class have tried to get closer to Hanako in the past. And that didn't... She's got five kids! All That's of them what happens have... when she bakes in the oven too long. They're... They're, uh... They're... They're... they're bur their birthmarks are just burns. <laughs> I think her judgment... It's rather harsh, given that everyone, not just those in Yamaku, has their own issues. Then again, I haven't owned Hanako for that long, so it wouldn't surprise me if there was some stuff I didn't know about. I'll just take it as it comes. She's a nice person, I think that should be all that matters. Mickey's eyes narrow, not narrow a little, and her, and her small space. You really like it, don't you? Mickey certainly doesn't, doesn't mince words. Oh boy. So, save here. Don't screw up. Well, mm. I'm, I'm thinking. I just met this person. She's asking Either me, oh, way. you really like her, don't you? Either way, it's the beginning of the end. Is it? Oh, is this the decision before it's all locked in for the route? It's just the beginning of the end. Oh, I I know Hanako's route. Also, I'm alternate personality C for the love of Christ. <laughs> but... <laughs> no, no. Well... We're all talking to Gorba. He's talking to himself. Yeah. Uh, all around me are familiar faces. On our places. Mentally retarded idiots. <laughs> I I, I want to see art of. Gorbash having to deal with all these multiple personalities while talking. I'll fucking, to people. I'm drawing it soon. Don't worry. <laughs> Are yeah, sure? just like the one I requested. Mm -hmm. What'd you request? Yeah, see? You totally forgot about it. Why? Stop! Sick! Just because you can't request stuff when he's drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't wait till he's halfway sober. Uh, I don't know what to choose. Well, it's really bad find... when our primary personality is drunk off his ass. Don't worry. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let's get this. Yeah, I got this. Where's my coin? <laughs> I'm not never failed you before. Don't fucking lie. I had to flip it like three times last time I freaking did it. Yeah, and look how that turned out. Perfect. Mm. Oh yeah, this is good editing. Boy, should see this. <laughs> oh, yes. Meanwhile, alternate personality Kenji is playing with Photoshop. Don't tell him. Perfect, okay. I haven't ruined the photo. It looks great. <laughs> yeah. Now, pipette. And where is my brush? Mm. I think I'm going to deny it. 
This bitch doesn't need to know shit. Shut up, Eva. This is my choice. Not changing. Deny. Done. I don't think so. We're just friends. Wait, you de oh, you deny. Yep. Kiss, kiss, kiss. How dare you deny your true feelings? Oh, All their personality is disappointed with your choice. Oh. Girls like uh, that. They need to I be thought I discovered girl. something nice for a moment there. I understand. Girls and guys don't need boyfriends and girlfriends after. Yeah, she knows some. She, she knows true. the. She knows the tennis team captain. What she's. What she says is true. Even if I do have feelings for Hanukkah. See, I'm not. I'm not denying it. I just deny it to this bitch because I just met her. Right now. I don't care. We'll do her eventually. Right now, we are good friends, and I don't want to mess that up. But I also want to be more than that for her. It's hard. Miki gives uh, a different vibe from other girls. Talking to her makes me feel like talking to a guy rather than a woman. She, her saying she... What? She has a penis, doesn't she? Wait, you can't have a root with her or something? Nope. That's stupid. She, her saying she prefers male company doesn't help to dispel the notion either. I have to say my watch shows me that lunch break is ending in only a few minutes. Time to start heading back to class. Lunch is about to end. Wanna head back? Yeah, we better. Yeah, we better! Why is there- why isn't there a fan game where you play as Miki? Yeah. I pick myself up off the grass and dust myself off, offering a hand to Miki to help her up. She takes it eat. She puts her stump in my hand and I retaliate by punching her in the face. <laughs> she, she takes it easily and pulls herself up. Showing the muscle movement in her toned bare arms in the process. Where the fuck would they add that line? <laughs> what? Uh, Rail Wars? Christopher? Nice. Oh, Come Frank and, er, Soul Eater. Uh... Who cares? Come to think of it, why aren't you wearing the normal girl's blouse? Eh. Oh, that doesn't help. Eh, it's too hot and constricting. The boy's uniform is better anyway. She throws her arms around a bit to emphasize her point, which has the side effect of showing off one particular part of her body that would be especially constricted by the blouse. Nice, dude. Nice. The two of us start the walk back to the main building through the gardens, talking as we go. Sounds like you're settling in well. That's a relief. It was pretty surprising to get a transfer student at this point in the year, considering the exams are coming up. Don't remind me. <laughs> Don't worry about them. Just cram it and you'll be fine. This sounds like Hey, hey, advice. hey! Don't judge your stuff! She claps my shoulder a couple times as she grins. I don't think she takes school very seriously. She seems like a smart guy. And Muto's taking you around well already. You're like a, a hand in a glove. Get some hand. <laughs> now it'll work out whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I still don't know what to make of the school. I've been here for a few weeks already. I still feel dazed about it all. You'll get used to it. Just give it some time. It's only high school, just like any other. She makes it sound so simple, but I've never thought about it in that way. To me, Yamaku symbolizes a marked shift in my life. I was no longer normal. I was different, and was to be educated with other different people. And yet, I'm walking back to class. Got the Normes! New! And yet, I'm walking back to class. I need to rewatch that show. Talking casually with a classmate during lunch. After watching some other play, others play this soccer game, all perfectly normal. Maybe she has a point. Before I should just. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, hold on a minute.
Well, do Ultimate Personality Sonic or Ultimate Personality Kenji have anything to say? Right, fucker. Good to know. Ultimate Personality Tig, do you have anything to say? That's funny, because it sounds like Tank when he does his high voice. <laughs> okay, maybe I should just look at Hanako the same way. Everyone has their own issues. This is hardly something you need to hunt. So I'm going to take a look at that and uh, see where it could be approved. Improved. Uh after all, it's only a high school, just like any other. It probably needs more swastikas knowing Sonic. Yeah. Well, when did Sonic become a Nazi? What? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes, well, we don't talk about it. Thanks. Uh, you know what? That's not even an option right now. I'm far too far into this. As we continue to talk... Sh shut up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, also, you can't you can't cover him. It's way too hard. I could just make a giant white space. I could. <laughs> As we continue <laughs> to talk, I find myself smiling. Miki and I are very different people in almost every way, but it feels good to have gotten to know another classmate a bit better. Oh, hey. Two friends. Another chapter. Ooh, ooh. And that's it. I let Breeze close. Am I, am I close? Is, is this? Um. Is this... One, I think. Really? I thought it was two. No, two. One or two, depending on which ending you get. Okay. Yeah. I already bleep. I already fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that? starting off again. I like bleep. Oh my fuck! <laughs> I like bleep. I like breeze. Blows the scent of. Early I like summer. breeze. Blows by my magnum dog, and all of a sudden. Around, around my head boner. while I wait for Lily. Small white clouds over the sky, breaking up the monotony of the. Rams here, you here. Ramsey here with another Mona, Tony. Willie's voice slilts on the breeze as if the moon did the same thing. I stop gazing into the sky and examine Lily. Whoa, nice sports bra. Or push up bra. With a peach off the shoulder sweater and a tan, tan ankle length skirt, in addition to tan sandals, she's quite a nice sight. Yeah, I'm over here, Lily. You're the gate. Were you able to sneak away from Hanako? Yes, it's not uncommon for me to go out during the weekends, so I don't think she noticed anything suspicious. That and she has someone she sees. Lily purses her lips, Ooh. as if Ooh. she maybe shouldn't have continued. Could it perhaps be a hot date? No, she's mine. Well, right, well, we're all you. I we're all in this together. together. No, no, wait, no. I have another allegiance. Right. Hanako sees some. Someone? Really? Oh, it's just... Okay. Okay, she's a therapist. She sees a therapist. Yeah, just a therapist. Keep telling yourself that, man. She sees a therapist. Every so hey, hey. Weekends. You can't get rid of us, Gorbush. We're all in this together. Just every so often, oh, well, she sees me. It does make a lot of sense. Lily Especially because the medication me. hasn't been and working. And one look at her troubled expression. We quickly okay. move to change the topic away from Hanako. <laughs> Sometimes. Yes, says Lily. I was just wondering. <sighs> Don't talk about it. You can get around the city on your own. Lily sighs in my constant, constant, consternation surrounds topic. I was really trying hard to not say concentration. The topic of her blindness. I'm my own worst enemy sometimes. 
I can, yes. It's easier when I'm out with a friend or my sister, though. I wonder how Lily gets along with her sister. Being an only child, it's hard to imagine what, a si what having a sibling would be like. So it makes me a little envious of her. Right, well then, the bus arrives in a few minutes, so we should probably get a move on. Indeed, it's a long way till we miss this one. With that, we set off to the bus stop down the hill. It's only a small distance from the school gate, so it's very convenient. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice view from here. Coming back from the city, I never really got to see scenery like this, let alone on a daily basis. The area is nice for me as well. It's tranquil and away from the noises that smells and the smells of the city. Lily's head perks up in a trademark gesture of hers, signifying that she's caught a sound. Oh, here comes the bus. I look down the road to see the bus trembling up the hill. Her hearing is quite a useful tool. The bus only takes a short while to reach the bus stop, forcing its way up the road, and within a minute we are on our way to the city. Walking around the city, I feel a distinct nostalgia. It smells the traffic, the tall buildings everywhere. It's a lot like my native city, save for the raised white water. Yeah. And it the white like... supremacists. Yeah. Yeah, the KKK running through the streets shooting every black person they see. <laughs> It feels a little weird walking around a city as casually as I would in a park, but with cars rushing around underneath me. What is Lily's nationality? Because I think she, I thought she was like Swedish or something. I'm not gonna spoil it. You're gonna have to do a route. It's but she's like. The funny part is. Polish. Is I've it's already Swedish spoiled it once, but you don't remember, so. She's the good kind. That's all you need to know. She's what? She'd be an Eskimo then. She's not an Eskimo. <laughs> she's from she's she's from Greenland, is she? She's a Viking. She's Danish. There we go. Da yeah, I imagine she was some sort of Middle Eastern. She looked it. Wow, Middle Eastern. <laughs> what is she from? <laughs> Ireland? Oh, I'm sorry, Middle Eastern. That's very rude of me to say. Not Middle Eastern. I meant uh. Yeah, that's European. rude. That's rude Euro to the Danish. European. <laughs> yeah, calling someone a Middle Eastern is rude because they're all terrorists. We'll, we'll just go with Greek for now because you keep calling her an Amazon. Yeah. Amazons weren't Greek. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were like, they Amazonians were, like, were Greek. No, they were like way north of the Greeks, hanging out, partying. Oh, eh, I don't... It's a Greek yeah. mythology, so we'll yeah, just go yeah. with Greek. But they're, oh, well, but okay. they were women sent from Greece. You fucking idiot! <laughs> what? Are you dink? They were women sent from Greece. They weren't women. You dink. They... <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. As I'm busily pondering the engineering marvel that is a raised walkway, I get a surprise. It takes a moment to realize that. Lily has wrapped her arm around mine, extending her cane in front with her other hand. For a moment I'm startled, but I managed to keep enough of a lid on it for Lily not to notice. While well, it's not the first time that Lily's relied on me for guidance, she's only held onto my sleeve cup before. It's logical that it would be easier for her to navigate a crowded area in complex areas such as the city while it's securely linked, but I'm far from being used I'm far from being used to this kind of contact as Lily is. Finally realizing the growing silence between us and Lily waits for me to get moving, I quickly kick my brain into gear. You know, it was quite a surprise that Hanukkah likes to sing. Have you ever heard her do that before? I have indeed. We've been to karaoke sessions several times, along with us. Dude, can I go? No. Along why? Along with my sister. I can't say I have take I take to the activity much, but the other two like. Maybe Hanako doing karaoke is more fitting than I initially thought. Just her and all those she knows alone in a little room. It would give her a rare chance to let her guard down with nobody else there to judge her. Maybe it would be nice to bring her into town for a karaoke birthday party if she likes doing it. Hmm, I'm not sure she would deal very well with that excitement. I move to protest, but her face shows that she's mulling the proposal over something more. It takes quite some time for her to come to a conclusion. And again, the best thing we can do for Hanako at this point is try to create some pleasant birthday memories. Continue. I'm a fucker. 
continually treating her as if she's abnormal won't help. I think you're right. She is abnormal. If she has something to remember apart from loss, then maybe she'll come around. If we bought her something nice that she could see every day, then maybe she'd be able to take her mind off her past and remember she has friends. In any case, I think Hanako can handle something like this. In this time I've spent beside her, I've learned that she isn't quite as frightfully fragile as I first thought she was. So shall we be off? I'm not really quite sure about the layout of this area. Very well. I might like to suggest having something to eat first. I haven't either, so sounds like a good plan. Make sure you choose a nice place, Ramsey. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's what Tink said. <laughs> I... What did Tink say? Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> it doesn't pertain to you, don't worry. You're lying! It doesn't at all. And I don't think he did. I think he probably quit and then left. What? Shaz. All right. She gives a teasing smile. One that makes me smile re re reflexively in response, even if she can't see that. I'll make sh very sure I do. Don't worry about that. Once inside, I order two slices of pie. Inside where? What? That's such bullshit. I didn't even see where we were going. Inside. I ordered two slices of pie and accompanying and accompanying cups of tea and take them back to our table. I pegged this cafe as a type to appeal Lily. Small and quiet, but well kept and somewhat upscale. Going to going by the dainty smile she wears, I don't really know if I chose right. It's very, very rare enough to see her smiling after all. Nevertheless, I take a seat near her and at one of the What? <laughs> Who the, the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm not thinking. <laughs> really? What? What's the first thing you think of when you see that screenshot? Suicide. It's a, a stormy day here. Of it's a stormy <laughs> day here off the coast of Scotland. Use that second one, and then. Uh... But no, that's not <laughs> what makes Lonnie laugh. Carry on. Right. Nevertheless, I take the seat near her, near near her at one. Uh, I fixed it up from this first time. And lay so. down our small meals. We don't need to talk about that anymore. What? No, hold on. What? There, take whatever you want and uh, use it. What? Well, uh, you'll see it. You'll see it once this is all over. I'm worried. Lily gingerly brings her head over the slice of pie placed in front of her, delicately taking in the aroma. Lemon pie, is it? Thank you, Ramsey. No problem. Tea's just next to it. Is it a so... lemon cream pie from Sonic's Magnum Dog? Got him. The tea just next to it, so be careful not to knock it over with my magnet. Like she nods appreciatively, but judging from the slightly weak smile she has, the warning wasn't really necessary. I suppose the sound must have tipped her off to its position. We both tuck into our food. Hmm. We both tuck into our food without further ado. Both of us remain largely silent as we do. <laughs> largely silent. Lily isn't the type to appreciate discussion while eating, and I can't say I like it either. Eventually, we finish both of our meals, and the last of our Ticos follow, follows in short order. Lily's the first to break the silence. I was very nice. I must say you've chosen quite well, Ramsey. This is my first time I've really had a look at the city, so all I could do really is choose somewhere that looked nice. Uh, damn. Sorry. I feel really bad for inadvertently bringing up the subject of sight around Lily, but she doesn't appear to mind much. Quite the opposite. She almost looked amused by my awkward attempt at an apology. I noticed that, like, I'm the only one in this game that's, like, 
technically sworn, even though I don't really consider them swearing. Yeah. Also, also, I'd uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to point out the cross around Lily's neck. Is she some sort of some sort of Christian? Have you got drinks from the vending machine yet? He pulls. What? No. What? Okay, well, time to start scrawling. What the fuck? I have gone very far. <laughs> you were thoughtful, Ramsey. But sometimes I fear that it gets the better of you. There is no need to change your speech on my account. Lily is truly a pretty comfortable in dealing with her condition. I still hasten to change my subject, as I can't really say that I share her confidence in the matter. Have you lived here for very long? It seems like you have this place pretty much sorted out. She quickly waves a, her hand in front of her face to dismiss the notion. It's nothing like that. I've attended Yamaku since the start of high school, but I didn't walk around the city very much because Akira... <sighs> she's related to Akira. Yeah. In flashbacks of the anime. No, 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 not that. The I'm, I'm, other I'm, Kira. I, I'm I'm talking about the giant gross flesh monster. Yeah, that that's uh, yeah, that, that still sounds like Shakira. You're gonna have to be more specific, or yeah, okay. I'll hold on. Let me Google it, and I'll just post a picture of Shakira. <laughs> but I didn't walk around the city very much because Akira, my sister, picked me up and dropped me off. All oh, right, you mentioned not living. Whoa, you mentioned not living in the dormitories until recently. It's quite a surprise. I just assumed she's been living here since. That's my phone going off. Hello, pal. Cool. Uh, which would give her a few years here. I guess I found it. Good. Okay, uh, and Akira working long hours, I ended up having to move. Inverness? Isn't that somewhere in Scotland? Oh, she's Scottish! <laughs> it, oh, I didn't tell ya! My family currently lives in Scotland, the birthplace of my mother. My father's side is mainly Japanese, though. My mother's name is Macbeth. Huh, the question and she murdered you... her, and, her entire family. And her dad has a Magnum Donga. There we go. <laughs> yeah. huh. The question of what gave Lily her looks did cross my mind every now and then, but I never thought to ask. The can can, can we just say this? To to be specific, how big is a Magnum dog in Japan? Is it like? Five inches? It could be two inches and it'd be magnum. <laughs> to be honest, I'd never have guessed. Considering you have... Considering you, your thick accent, I'm just stupid. I'm guessing you were born here. Because I'm I'm reading Lily with an accent from now on. <laughs> Full marks! I'm thankful for my heritage, law. As without it, I've likely not been taught English so early in my life. And what of you his... Uh, Ramsey, I am greatly looking forward to what he does, Lily's right now. What about me? <laughs> she gives <laughs> fuck me harder. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me like you'd stuff mutton. She gives me a moment's thought. She probably <laughs> should have thought of what to ask me for switching the topic. I'll go with. What are your plans for the future? To be honest, I haven't thought about that. <laughs> about that. Oh, fuck, I no, did no, a lot. No. Uh, Breaking into uh, multiple characters. I go with, uh, what are your plans for the future? To be honest, I haven't had much about that thought. Hmm. I've been I too busy trying about... to keep my Magnum dog under control. Yeah, I haven't thought much about that recently. After my accident... 
I'm dying because of it. <laughs> I scrape it off the concrete all the time. <laughs> After my accident, the subsequent months in the hospital, enjoying my life here with you and Hanako has been enough for me. In fact, I don't think I've thought all about a future for some time now. It seems almost futile. This is your last year of school! After this, you will have to fend for yourself one way or the other. It's not like I don't know that. I just haven't put much thought into it since then. She opens her mouth. She opens her mouth to continue. Ah! But gives a small sigh and says, ah! She's not realizing she really doesn't know enough about my situation to go deeply into this. Well, we all have our own pace. I just hope you'll take any chance to see. I see, understand. it'd be funny if he actually spoke, like, Scottish terms and translated that. Well, I, don't, I actually don't know any Scottish terms, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll Google some when I do the lizard. I'll think about it. Plonka! No. Oh, we'll remind him. Yeah. As, We're not here, Rippa. As we b walk back to the city, I'll just, like, read over Macbeth by Shakespeare and use any <laughs> slang in that. As we walk back, wall, you're dead, mate. As we walk back into the city, Lily takes hold of my arm once again. So, did you get any good ideas for a present? To be honest, no. Maybe a good, like, full body bandage so that she doesn't have to. We don't have to see her ugly fucking scars. To be Why honest, would you no. spend the money on that and not just get a paper bag? Me too. Because she has, like, scars on her hands, too. I've never it's been okay, very she can wear gloves. As absurd as it sounds... Oh, my God. <laughs> as absurd as it sounds, perhaps we should just look around. Hearing Lily... I can't do a Scottish accent without straining my voice like that. Hearing Lily utter those words throws me off for a moment. Er, right. How do we do that? That's just the reaction I was expecting. It's simple, laddie. You can go window shopping and just tell me what's around. If something interesting comes up, then we might get an idea. Like a dildo in the shape of a magnum donga. All right. I'm still not so sure of this, but I'll take your word for it. I can't wait to hear how this comes out in recording. <laughs> I think we'll manage Hanako, my sister, and I managed to do it well enough. Well, I think I'll leave it at a cliffhanger, because I have to be going. <laughs> he has to go so, uh, play with this Magnum Dog. So, uh... They... Yep. Yeah. I'm going to leave it here. Save. Good, good. Thank you all for coming. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want me to fuck Lily up the runa. You are a fucking mentally retarded idiot. Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs>